So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to download and use time resolution, the best possible way and the right way. And this is the before milliseconds and this is the after milliseconds on exactly how to get best possible delay. Now at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys a secret secret setting inside of Windows to get better delay on your keyboard. Now you really want to stick around until the end. So to get started with downloading time resolution, basically all you're going to want to do is go ahead and click the link down down below that I'm gonna have in the description and it's gonna take you to this website and basically all you're gonna want to do is go ahead and click free download right here now you're gonna want to click download now again now I know this might look like a virus but I promise you it is not a virus and basically you just want to go to your downloads and open up time resolution right here and it's gonna come up and then you can just X out of the tab and then you're gonna have time resolution right here and basically you're gonna want to open it Right here just open it and then click it right there but actually whenever it opens though you're not even gonna want to open it really first once you have it on your um, desktop right here you're basically gonna want to right click and then you go to show more options right here and then all you're gonna want to do is click properties just right there click properties and then all you're gonna want to do is go to compatibility right here just go ahead and click compatibility and then click run this program in compatibility mode 4 and put it on Windows Vista right here. Now this just makes it so that way it can run in compatibility. I don't know why actually it's supposed to be in Windows Vista but it only works for Windows Vista. Don't know why but that's just how it is. And then basically you're going to want to put run this program as an administrator and make sure you have this check mark and that's really all you're going to want to do for that and then just click apply and then OK. That's pretty much all you're going to want to do for that section. Now that part's really really simple. And then the next thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and just open time resolution and then click yes for user account control. It's going to make you want to click yeah. Just click yeah. And then all you're going to want to do is go to click maximum. Click it like three or four times and then it should be at 0 0.500 milliseconds. Now if it doesn't say this, I'm going to give you three different um, commands that you can put inside command prompt and it's going to make sure that it works. All right, so the last thing that we're going to go ahead and do is open up command prompt down here. So I'm going to just go ahead and click your Windows key and search command prompt and go ahead and run command prompt as an administrator and go ahead and just click yes. Now, basically, what you're going to want to do is in the description, I'm going to have a bunch of well, three different codes that you can go ahead and type in. Now, these codes are just going to lower your lower your delay. And honestly, you don't have to worry about the last one. If it doesn't work, it's OK. If it doesn't work, you can still run through it and it'll be just fine. OK. So basically you just want to go ahead and copy and paste each one into here and then all you want to do is click control v or yeah control v and then click enter and then also this one for the second one that's in the description you want to put that one too and then go ahead and just do the same thing for this one you just want to click enter again and then for the third one it's a uh, use platform clock all you're going to want to go ahead and do is put it in there too and then it, this one might not work and that is okay if this one doesn't work do not worry about it if it doesn't work you can still go ahead and continue on so once you reopen time resolution, all that you really want to do is go ahead and click maximum again, like about five times and make sure it's at 0 0.500 milliseconds. It should be there. And that is the exact amount that you want it to be at. Now, if it's any higher, it's okay. But if it's at 0 0.500, that's how you know you're at your perfect millisecond that you want it to be at. And you should be good for time resolution. Now for the last delay trick that I was talking about since the beginning of the video, and thank you for tuning into the round into the end. So basically all you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and search, go ahead and search keyboard search keyboard and this will come up right here just keyboard control panel go ahead and click it and then come right here go to keyboard properties and make sure that character repeat is on from long to short and repeat rate is to slow to fast and that's basically all you're gonna want to do for that and it should also help with delay and if it doesn't you can always just revert back down to the settings all the way down to long and slow so it is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helps you, helped you out in absolutely any way, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and comment. But yeah, don't forget to use credit code SWITCHY in the item shop. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe, take care, and may peace be with you. Amen.